You're listening to Catholic Express, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. there, Sprouts. Today is Monday, October 19th, 2020. Now, this week we are going to continue with our Jesus study, and this week we are going to be looking at the person that paved the way for Jesus's public ministry, his cousin, John the Baptist. But before we get there, we need to talk about the saint who is celebrating a feast day today. Today is a feast day of St. Isaac Jokes. Now, St. Isaac was from France. He was a Jesuit. He lived in the 1600s, but he felt a calling to be a missionary in the New World. And so he boarded a boat, traveled across the ocean, and arrived in Quebec, where he would minister and try to bring the Christian faith to the Huron or Mohawk Indian tribes. Now, this was an incredibly dangerous thing to do. Not only were the Indians not necessarily interested in the Christian faith and resentful of missionaries, but they were also constantly at war with each other. Nonetheless, St. Isaac set out to win souls for Jesus. He went to live among them. However, Shortly after he arrived, St. Isaac was captured by the Mohawk Indians. He was taken prisoner and he was tortured for a long time. For over a year, he lived with them and he was treated terribly tortured. Finally, he escaped. He ran away. He got to the coast. He begged to be aboard a Dutch ship and he sailed all the way back to France. Now, when he got back to France, he was hailed as a hero because while he was in Canada, he had won souls for Jesus. But as he was there, he really felt a calling, Jesus calling him back to minister to these Native Americans and to win more souls for Jesus. So very quickly after arriving in France, he went back to Canada. He went back to the very tribes that had captured him and tortured him. Well, on his very first mission out into the wilderness in Canada to encounter these Native American tribes, he was once again captured, but he was almost immediately killed. In fact, St. Isaac is one of just a handful of the first martyrs in North America, men who died for their faith, who died in the work of bringing people to Jesus. Now, it might be easy to look at the life of St. Isaac and those like him, other Jesuit missionaries, and see them as failures. After all, he came back from France and he was killed immediately. He didn't really even get to preach after he came back. But you know what? Jesus can use all things done in his name out of love for his glory. Now, years later, in this very same Mohawk tribe, there was a young woman who, although she had suffered smallpox as a child, although her parents had died, she felt within her a burning desire to worship and to give her whole life to Jesus Christ. This young girl's name was Katiri. So the seeds that St. Isaac and other missionaries sowed, the love of Jesus that they brought, even though not everyone accepted it, and even though there was a lot of violence that they suffered, they paved the way for future saints like St. Kateri. St. Isaac, pray for us. Now, as I said, this week, we are going to talk about John the Baptist. In the, le- the little bit of time that we have left today, I just want to set the scene for all of this. Now, we hear that John the Baptist was living in the wilderness. We hear also that he was in the desert, that we, he's called to pave a way for the Lord in the desert. So let's talk about what Judea or the country of Israel, what that area was like. Well, it was very different and very in the different parts. In fact, the hill country where John the Baptist's parents lived, where Mary went to visit her cousin Elizabeth when she was pregnant, that's a very lush area. Everything's very green. Crops grow very well. The fields are covered with grass and there's sheep. It's very lush. 
But then if you go to the other side of the country, just past Jerusalem, it's a desert. But it's not like the desert that you might picture. It's not like big sand dunes. Instead, it's big ravines, cliffs, but it's very dry and very dangerous and very rough. And it is in this area where John the Baptist went to pray and reflect and receive his calling as a great prophet of God. And it's also near this area where he began to baptize. So we will be talking about all those things tomorrow. But for today, I want you simply to reflect on the story of St. Isaac and his companions that came into the new world to tell people about Jesus. I want you to pray for his intercession that you too can be brave and bring Jesus even to places where it might be dangerous. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Just one more thing. We are running a really fun sale on our rosary board books and our saint patterns for cross stitch and melty beads. The sale runs through the end of October. So I encourage you to check it out by checking the links in this podcast episode.